Just one match in the top flight on this Sunday afternoon. It's the Derby in Limpopo. Welcome everyone to Polokwane, a cloudy day here in the north. The sun uh, threatened to break through the clouds just a few moments ago, but uh, it'll be perfect weather conditions for the two sides. Polokwane, top six up against Black Leopards, who are in the bottom five. Now let's see what uh, Klongwane can provide. Also in towards the near post and right through the goalkeeper's arms and with a bit more of a curl that might have well nestled in the back of the net. Struck with some pace as well, William Shongwe. And with a little bit of a spin as well, which easily could have found its way into the back of the net with just every player in front of uh, Chikova. Just Manuleka! Just over the top. Manuleka had a little look up as well to just see what his options were. You see the cloud is back uh, over the uh, top of the pictures. This went a little bit darker there and uh, lots of possession for Leopards, but uh, no goal so far. Now the cross inside. Musonda, that it is. Simple as you like. Goal number 13 for the season. Black Leopards take the lead after 26 minutes. The Leopards are climbing their way up, he's indicating. You say it's as easy as you like. This man knows how to position himself. And uh, once the ball gets sprayed into the wide area, he doesn't waste time, he just runs into the box. Now Anas gets to turn. He's got support, pity again. Out wide to Boy, this is better from Polo Kwani City. Now Boy, can he get it in with the left foot? Drags it back, Anas misses. My word, it'll go for a corner. But that is a bad miss from Mohamed Anas. He's claiming uh, that there might have been a handball in there, but I think that's more to cover up his blushes. Lovely drawback here. Now, can he get it back into the area? Does so. No way through for Trolani. Manaka, Maloleke, onto the left foot. That's a great little pass in here for Trolani. Onside. Oh, won the goal. Well, we said he hadn't scored for a year. He's done it now. Trollane, first goal since March last year. Paul Aquani City are right back in it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> man, oh man, that is top quality. Mark, listen. Bereng, former Bloemfontein Celtic player who uh, recently uh, Used his Basutu heritage to uh, win a cap for Lesotho, and we have a goal here. Polokwane City, 1-0 down just before the break, are now 2-1 ahead. Caught slipping, flat-footed is Black Leopards defense. It took one player, Mark Lisson, he had acres of space. Pasek, of course, he just picks it up and he goes straight in the top pokes it. In Belasi. On Belasa, that is, yes. And goalkeeper on sighted. First touch there for Bereng, who's come on for Nange. They're looking for number three here, Motlong. Anas, great save, the follow-up hits the upright. How football games can change in just a matter of a handful of minutes. King comes into the party very strongly with the fit save with his foot. But it comes again from a loss of position in their build up, Black Leopards. Now Musonda, this might fall there for him. Shongo, that's into the side netting. Very good chance to get back on level terms. Number 17 is the man with intent. Kongwane! Dipping ball and it strikes the upright. And his follow up is high into the night sky. Inches away from an equalizer. Look good. He looked set to be a goal. Goalkeeper Chikova beaten and Munganga straight at his own man. And, uh, at the other end, Anas has a chance on the counter. He's got support. Could they finish it off here? It's Maloleke, it's a Nas, and it's 3-1.
The kind of counter-attack goal that always happens when you're pushing up looking for the equaliser. Mohamed Anas with 10 minutes to go. Surely now has sealed it up. That's basically one of these. Leopards pushing just about everybody, including their central defender Munganga. is the one actually that lost the ball eventually. Or in fact, that uh, tried an attempt at goal and the ball took a deflection. And then from there, it was uh, one way down, long pass. And surely now the final whistle has come. Paul Aquani City are up to fifth in the Premier Soccer League. Leopards are just two points above the danger zone. That's the outcome of the Limpopo derby. Final score here. Paul Aquani City, the winners, 3-1 over Leopards in the Limpopo derby. Well, a really good battle here between these two teams in the Limpopo derby. And unfortunately, Black Leopards, the losers on the day. Dylan Coe with me now. Dylan, disappointed, no doubt, especially having had a good start to the game. Very disappointed, especially with the goal we conceded in the first half, right before half-time, which doesn't do your confidence any good, but I thought we dominated the first period. They had a couple of counter-attacks, which is what we worked on in training, which we spoke about. They play the long ball, and then because of their fitness levels, they, they counter quickly. Uh, but we got away with a couple of shots. But then again, we had a couple of more chances that we, we, we should have done better. Um, I'm not going to criticise my players... Uh, I'll do that in the dressing room if I have to. But, you know, I think the mistakes has cost us today. We, our, our game's about keeping the ball, playing, playing possession. We work on it every week. It's very, very difficult to get the ball off us when we're playing on, as we do. But today I thought we made too many mistakes. First goal, we didn't clear the ball well. Second goal, Leaf has fallen asleep from the free kick. We got caught cold. And then the third goal, you know, we're trying to get the goal back. We've hit the bar. Maybe that would have told a different story. And Jones come out of defence as a centre half, just play the ball to the player and just get back in position. But you know, all credit to them. I said to them before the game, it's a battle, it's a local derby. It's who wants it more. And I think even though we played the nice football and created a lot of good possession, I thought they that they went and wanted to score more goals. And they did three, and they hit the bar twice, and we've we've cleared a couple. But you know, all credit to them. And I say. It's, Bragging rights in football in local derbies, and today they've got it. But we've just got the soldier on now because we've got a, a big game on Wednesday. Every game's going to be big now for us. But you know, I'm disappointed we the way we gave ball, the the ball away in good position, in, and in good possession. And also, I've got to look at myself and think: Did I pick the right team? And obviously, I've got a very very strong squad who are all dying to play. And I think a few players were, were missing today. I think a few players that have done very, very well for me, to be fair. They've done very, very well. I think they, 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 were, they were missing today. And sometimes football is like that. You don't have the best game all the time. And unfortunately, it's cost us a, uh, a game and you know, it's cost our fans uh, the chance to enjoy the game. Joseph, I mean, was that the perfect display from your team in a derby situation? Yes, it was good performance for the derby because uh, derby is unpredictable. And uh, compliment on the opponent. They uh, played with full power. They attacked. Even first half, I think they were a little, a little better because we lost that uh, game rhythm in three weeks. But slowly, slowly we came into the game, and important was the equalize before half time, and then started the new game. And I told the guys, I believe you. You have good counter. You need to improve ball possession, and then we go for for the win. And uh, it happened. But good opponent, uh, good crowd uh, today, good atmosphere. I think uh, generally good derby, but congratulations on my team.